Sam Neely is calling it his biggest regret as Bruins president, and it's cast a dark cloud over the team's strong start to the season. Neely says the team, quote, dropped the ball in its vetting of defenseman Mitchell Miller. The Bruins offer the 20-year-old a contract on Friday, only to rescind it 20, uh, 48 hours later after Cam Neely says they found new information about Mitchell's past. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez tells us what else the Bruins had to say today. Joe? Thanks, Mike. The Boston Bruins front office having a tough weekend with their most recent transaction. The backlash began just hours after signing Mitchell, who was convicted of racially abusing and bullying his former classmate in 2016. Bruins president Cam Neely discussing the matter with the media today, citing new information was obtained after the signing. Neely said the organization know, knew about Mitchell's past, but were under the impression he had been working on the issues over the past six years. The organization plans to discuss the matter with the victim's family and will decide on any disciplinary actions later on this week. Neely also said they didn't talk to Mitchell's family enough and realized there was more behind the scenes leading to Mitchell's release. From a hockey standpoint, the scouts, you know, th think he's a, 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 a player that can play. From a character standpoint, that's where we failed. As for the 20 year old, his agent released a statement saying throughout the last six years, Mitchell has been volunteering with many organizations and understands the severity of his past mistakes. But Cam Neely said if Mitchell is to ever play in the NHL, he would have to meet directly with the league commissioner. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.